So as you can see, I've made some progress on the winch bumper. I got uh, the ends all closed in. I just had one side on and it wasn't closed. Now I've got this one in and it's just all the way closed in. That's clucky. She's retarded. So I got the winch in there. I got the expanded metal in. I threw in the old lights. I had these great big ones that I was going to put in, these Hella lights, the 500 series. And they filled the whole thing. They looked really cool. And I went to pull one of them out and I had the wires hanging down, got stuck in the expanded metal. Yanked it out of my hand so it goes to flop down. And as soon as it goes to the down angle, wire goes out, it just hits the ground, just exploded. So I got glass lenses. So that was a bummer. But anyway, I just stuck the old ones in. These are the stock Dodge ones. And they're mounted at kind of an angle because the bumper's curved. And because of the curve of the bumper, um, you know, they're set up to shoot straight ahead. But with this being at an angle this way, it made the lights look work out really nice. They're slightly rotated, but you can change that adjustment here. And then I got the strobe ones underneath of that. And the winch works awesome. It works really good. It's really smooth. Works like brand new, you could say. So I haven't closed in these. Somebody's going to notice that. I'm debating whether I'm going to or not. I probably will. I wound up doing these with uh, quarter inch steel, just like the rest of all of this is. And uh, had a little gap here, so I just filled it. Just put it in another plate. It's all quarter inch. So these turned out really, really heavy duty because of this being the uh, two by six box. It really is strong. And then reinforcing it with a triangle uh, that is quarter inch really added to that. So you want to see the lights on? So here's this side and it's all closed in. So I'm getting pretty close to being done. What do you think? You like it? You don't care. You just want to ride in the back, huh? Alright. Yeah, it's mean to have a dog tied up on a cable, but she's on a cable on a cable. That gives her range of pretty much the whole backyard, huh? Yeah. It's not so rough. So there's the driving lamps and the strobes on. I'll show you just the strobes. Chicken, what is your problem? She's just always clucking. And she's never with the rest of them. So there's just the strobes by themselves. So. It looks funny on the camera. It misses one every so often. It doesn't get the strobe of it. So. Anyway, that's that. This worked out pretty slick. It's all piled up on the one side. These don't last very long. They're pretty, they're great and everything, but they usually fade out pretty quick. Pretty. I like it. So you can see through, you can see the winch pretty good. I was thinking about painting this silver um, because the silver would kind of hide everything behind it better, but I can't tell if I care or not. It's not that critical to me. And then, uh, should we show you the winch operating? This is the control for it. You just have a momentary in and out switch. So you can hook this up. Where's my tab? I thought it was supposed to go to the bottom. Boy, I'm just really having a hard time. <laughs> I had the most amazing nap today. I don't take naps. I just don't have time for it. And uh, I was so tired today. Oh, didn't pull that out very good. I was so tired today that uh, I took a nap for. You can come out this way. Or if you're impatient and muscular, such as myself, you can just uh, switch it to free and watch the whole thing just go to nuts and never be wound up quite right ever again. <laughs> Just kidding. But then if you go to do it in in the free position, you're like, ah, my legs are broken, it won't hurt. Don't worry, never fear. Just take your switch, put it back to that, stand on it so you got a little bit of resistance, click in, 
And like I said, it will never be the same. It'll be all, don't put it in the free position unless you have tension on it. That's all I'm saying. There was a little part of the wire on this, the wire rope that was jacked up. It had a little renegade wire sticking off into nowhere. Oh, what have I done? Look at that. That's horrible. So it's going to take all of that to shrink back to. Remember what I said about never being the same again? I was pretty, I'm gonna have to pull the whole thing out and rewind it. Cause this wire rope's never been pulled on anything. That was a bad idea. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Ever wonder what 85 feet of <laughs> slow winching wire rope looks like? Looks like they didn't paint it real good. They're supposed to be, the lines of it are supposed to be right. Anyway, so there's your little bolt holding that on in the empty spool. And uh, we're going to wind that back in now. It's going to be a while. Remember the never be the same again? That's what that looks like. <laughs> so I got it back in again. So I'm going to do some bars. I got some 2 inch pipe that's a 0.125 wall. And so I'm going to have it go do something. I'll have pipe that comes off of here right out the grill line. But I'm going to do some homework and do a little practice bending and see what exactly I'm going to do with that. I got uh, 24 feet and hopefully within 24 feet I'll be able to get it right. I did botch up one of these angled pieces. I did this one perfect first try and then when I went to do this one I cut it okay but it's got a heavy seam line in it and so I had it the wrong way and it was too short to correct so I wound up chopping it up and making these little things out of it. But uh, I had to do that one twice. 